Welcome back to Character Select. Uh, so we have four, three days to get $8,000. Oof. Uh, but whatever, we bought something that Hit. helped us out. So, all right. Four Maybe minor hairballs. Like you leave Daruma bigger ones in the shower. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Jesus. That, that is the problem with long hair. It's true. What, what do we got in the, uh... Ye olde... No, Dangerous no. Opinions. AM Township 64. Hype. Literally no games. Anyone tired of this Monster Girl maimed? No. 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 I'm gonna marry a Monster Girl. I just want actual gameplay next time. Why would you want gameplay in a Sukabon game? <laughs> IDK. All I see is pretty girls with nothing to back it up. Any info on the hardware? It's probably going to be yet another underpowered piece of shit. It's not like competition is any better. Nah, I think I'll just quit gaming. Nothing is but trash as of late. Yeah, remember when games were actually good? Devs made them with love and care? Me neither. Harsh. Gonna buy one, depends on the library. Nano camo underwear. Go. Oh, I think I'll get a pair just to see what kind of skin I can use with them. They'll nickel and dime with the DLC. There's no way to use the skin you want. It's gonna get cracked day one. Maybe, but I don't think it'll be that fast. Yeah, I think it'll, I'll just wait until the modded, it's modded for custom skins. I thought the nano machine fabric was bad for your health. No, that's just a meme. My, mo my walls are made of that thing, and I'm alright. Are the walls hacked yet? I'm gonna marry Camo Tan! We now have underwear that can change its look. Don't you just love the future? I wonder if they weren't such a bunch of assholes with their business practices. Then don't buy the underwear. I won't. Tad useless unless you're a streaker or have a boyfriend. You know, there's an easier way to have different colored underwear. Buy different underwear. You buy different colored underwear. Alternatively, buy the same underwear, get some markers, maybe some glue, <laughs> some glitter, I don't know, fucking vajazzle the shit. Apollo Bank is being attacked. Can confirm the situation has finally reached an end. The attacker was shot dead, but a huge amount of data was released on from servers all around the world. Remember the leaks from Alice? Those were nothing compared to this. Proof of corruption, money laundering, espionage, it's all pretty, actually pretty unsettling. Damn. File is available from approximately 60,000 sources, terabytes that contain all operations from the Glitch City government and White Knight operations. Seems the ultimate goal from the attacker was not to blow up the bank, but lead hostages towards the servers inside the bank, which had the files under several layers of physical security. Shit sounds whack. How do you even make a plan this complex? No idea, but that's what some of the witnesses are telling the police. Okay, looks like I have to leave, but I'll try to write down all the details for a future post. Gonna need some time, though. Godspeed, Anon. Thanks. Will you read the file? Nah. Nah. Soccer popularity sinks as World Pro Wrestling rises. Oh, Once known as the King of Sports. Corruption scandals of the last World Cup. Fans have been drifting towards the theatrical magic of pro wrestling. It's easier to follow something you know is predetermined as opposed to something that just pretends to be a legit sport. What? People kicking a ball is boring as shit, too. But, but, I, I, but I like soccer. Meow. And because of that, you're castrated. <laughs> wow. I certainly like fried chicken. During our weekly interview with Prime Minister Quincy, he revealed his unusual taste in a certain rare food for a chicken. What? Fried what? chicken's rare food? In the cyberpunk future? Absolutely. It's crazy. Also, well, we taste chicken breasts like the ones in Kenta, Mick. You can't just go... You just can't go back. Once you go... Bok? Chicken. Once you, you can't go... Chi go big, bickin'. Once you go chicken, it's always finger licking. Oh. I wouldn't ban instant food since it's what people in the city like the most, and even though I hate it, no, I wouldn't ban it. Is it that rare? Pretty sure the ones sold are fried pigeons. Would you eat fried pigeon? It tastes fried. just like fried chicken. Uh, so I have a policy of I will eat anything once, but even if I like it and you tell me it's something disgusting afterwards, I won't eat it. So my wife, the first year that we were dating... I went to uh, Greek Easter at her uh, aunt and uncle's house, mm -hmm. and her entire family showed up, and it's a lot of people. It was like 40, 50 people, right? First time I met most of them. So that was kind of overwhelming. Also, uh, I had to show up at like 7 o'clock, because that's when they started roasting the lamb on the spit, and yes, they do roast a lamb on a spit for basically nine hours, and it was delicious. Um, and they started drinking Bloody Marys at 7.30. Uh... <laughs> But basically, also fun. She, 
she hands me this bowl of soup and says, eat this, it's really good. And I'm like, what's in it? In it. She says, eat it. So I ate it and it was Lamb delicious. Sauce. And I was like, so what is it? And she said, it's margarita. And I'm like, what's margarita? And she says, well, it's um, it's the lamb's heart and other internal organs, like uh, heart and chest organs. And I'm like, excellent. I will never eat that again. And I never have. Mm. Yeah. So. <laughs> On Good Mythical Morning, they eat a lot of weird shit. Would you eat a testicle? Of an animal, not a person. Again, I'll eat anything once. Just don't tell me what it is, <laughs> <laughs> because then I'll have an I'll have a reaction to it before I eat it. So, uh, Monster <laughs> Girl game with VR. Waifu age <laughs> is the waifu age real? Well, there's your answer. Do you want that game? Anime games are stupid. New ones, at least. All right. Oh, continuing to shit on themselves. Yeah, it's safe game. Boop. All right, and, good. Yeah, good work. December 21st. Wednesday. Ooh, wrestling's Ooh, on. Wrestling! We were just watching, we were just reading an article about that. Here. Gevenin. Ah, Jill, good timing. Is it? You two always make me feel like I'm late. If it helps, that dog isn't coming until sometime later. Anyway, do you have something planned for Sunday? <laughs> Watch silly mega Christmas specials with 1,000 grams of black fur on my lap? Why? I think about holding a small mega Christmas party here this Sunday. You in? Sure, why not? Alright! Invite any client you're acquainted with. The more the merrier. You didn't bring that, your cat that's today? That's weird. That's weird. <laughs> Just invite a client from the bar. No. Well, she's saying invite your friends. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't bring your cat today? The raid stopped. They found whatever, whoever they were looking for. Huh. Gil's like, they didn't find me, so... Huh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we better start working. Yeah, you better. Or I'll fire your ass. Alright, I like these first four. I'm gonna just... So, some of these are a little distracting. Yeah. Take that one out immediately. Do you... Where do we go from here? Imagine if you just put in the soundtrack for um uh uh fucking the Buffy musical into this. <laughs> And I uh, will so walk through the fire. I have never seen that episode. Oh, it's great. I actually <laughs> haven't seen it either. I just listened to the soundtrack several times because it was it was much longer than other episodes. So they never really replayed it. Uh, yeah. They never replayed it in its entirety. Right. Yeah. Anyway, time to mix drinks and change lives. Welcome to Valha. Uh, Oh, uh. new person. Um, hmm. Uh, um. I want a, a fluffy dream. Uh. May I see your ID, please? <laughs> yes. I don't have an ID because um, I'm the ghost of Mega Christmas Past. I'll, I'll haunt you constantly unless you give me a fluffy dream. Do you have money to pay for the drinks? Well, I... Do you? Y yes, I, I have money. Okay. <laughs> Girl asked for Fluffy Dream, but she's gotta be crazy if she thinks she's getting alcohol so easily. No karma one, dream. One, two, three. One, two, three. Aged. One, two, three. One, two, You're making it three. a big one. Well, maybe she'll think that it's uh, something else. Fluffy Dream. There you go. Wow, I actually got a drink. Dot, dot, dot. So, who are you? Here? So, who are you here to stalk, Miss Ghost of Mega Christmas Past? Stalk? Oh, right, I'm a ghost. Um, that guy, yeah. 
Which employee did you leave without a Mega Christmas, Gil? Jill, please. It would have been <laughs> funny if you reacted to that. Sorry, kid, I'm not in the mood to humor you today. Unless you have some sort of ID. Here. Well, in a year or so, I would gladly serve you a drink. But until then, this is no place for you. But I already got a drink. A non-alcoholic one. You didn't expect me to really give you a drink, right? Um... So if you would please leave... I... I can't leave. Not after trying so hard to even get in here. Uh, what is going on? <laughs> Alright, let's start from the beginning, Miss Norma. Is her last name... The Woman? Normal woman. <laughs> Bra bravo. It's I'm sorry. That's all I got. Genius of comedy right here. I will punch you. <laughs> uh, how did you know my name? I saw your ID. Could have been a fake ID. I don't think you're stupid enough to make a fake ID <laughs> that doesn't put you at 18 at the very least. Uh, you're very sharp, this bartender. You look like a nice girl, Norma. Why come to a bar like this? Uh, um... Seem like you're in a very bad mood, Miss Bartender. <laughs> nah, she's just like that all the time. Shut up. <sighs> Sorry if I've been harsh. These last couple days have been heavy. And having someone underage here reminds me of a certain incident from last week. What happened last week? Ah, uh, I don't know. Incident? Or incident? Well, don't change the subject, young lady. Why did you come here? What do you care? I can do whatever I want. I don't care, I'll do what I want. <laughs> Unless it's illegal, in which case anyone can, should, and probably will stop you. Well... I just want to be more wild, you know? wild? My mom puts way too many expectations on my shoulders. I've always been out to make sure I don't dis or, yeah, yeah, disappoint her. <laughs> but it's never enough. It's not, I'm not, it's not good enough to have good grades. She also wants me to go out and take a college preparation course. I'm tired. I don't want to do those things for her anymore. <laughs> you see, you came to a bar. Well, maybe if I came back home smelling like alcohol, she would leave me alone. Just become a regular screw-up. <laughs> there's there's uh, perfume for that. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh, man. I could imagine <laughs> all the shitty perfumes there are make you smell like weed or fucking alcohol or anything like that. You know what? I'm not going to spend money on drugs to smell like weed to begin with. I'm not going to spend money on perfume so that people think I smoke weed when I don't. That smoke would be... weed every day. Or spritz perfume that smells like weed on you every day. It's either the way, same thing. Either way, you're... I don't know, I can't say that. Because it's actually legal and not actually that mind yeah. altering. Anyway, continue. If you want to smoke weed and it's legal in your area, go right ahead. Just don't Feel do free. it while you yeah. know, at work or driving or anything like that. Anyway. Okay. If I'm not good enough for her, I might as well kill any hope she has in me. It's funny, I have a friend who is also being pressured by her mother. Really? Yeah, but in her case, it's being pressured to settle down and form a family. So that's hmm. what you need to do, Kate. If you want your mom to be disappointed in you, go get teenage pregnant. <laughs> okay, as opposed to regular pregnant. Right, it's much worse when you're a teenager. <laughs> oh... Uh, that was weird. It wouldn't let me click. So let me get this straight. You came here to make your mother disappointed? Yes. Do you like alcohol? Eh, uh, actually, I think it's nasty. But then you're doing things wrong. What? If you're gonna disappoint your mom, at least do it with something you like. Yeah. Fucking get a, get a job at a strip joint. Be an exhibitionist. Run naked through the city. 
Um, Go become a dominatrix. Throw a water balloon at a cop. Don't throw a water balloon at a cop. That's a bad idea. Throw a water balloon at a white knight. No, they they have enough shit going on already. Not a medical white knight. <laughs> One of the assholes. Like, become a belly dancer because you want to be a belly dancer. Apparently we were close to the mark. <laughs> Otherwise, you're just trying to hurt her for the sake of hurting her. Let's start with something. What do you like doing? I, I don't know. I've been so focused on trying to be good enough that I've been able to think about what I want to do. Also, note that the song playing right now is Where Do I Go From Here? How Where fucking appropriate. Where do we go from here? Don't you think you should start there? Huh? What good is doing something just for the sake of hurting someone? If she gets disappointed in you over something like... Like... Over something you like doing. Yes. Gets disappointed in you over something you like doing, you have the right to protest. But if you're hurting her by hurting her... By hurting yourself over something you don't enjoy... Sounds silly, huh? Very. Go home. Do some self-discovery before hurting your mom, would you? Or at the very least, humor her until you're old enough to move out. Yeah, you're right. Uh, thanks, Miss Bartender. Call me Jill. Jill? Alright. Er, Jill? Alright. So, I wonder if that conversation would have gone very differently if we did give her alcohol. Probably. Maybe. Probably. She'd probably gotten smashed. <laughs> Just immediately. I don't understand. That was non-alcoholic beer. <laughs> Careful out there. T turns out she has a horrible, uh, like, uh, allergy to alcohol, and we just <laughs> killed her. <laughs> or gotten fired. In the end, you did humor her for a bit. Shut up. Oh, a doggy. Hello, little girl. Oh, shit. GJ, how are you doing? You're late. Miss PJ? Mm -hmm. Too early. Ah, good to see you here. Boss, will be he will he be any good around here? I'm right here. I know. Of course, I spent lots of time training him. What do you think he why do you think he didn't show up last week? I've trained him, he can roll over, he can <laughs> give paw, he can fetch. Well, only some of the time. <laughs> yeah, most of the time he just eats whatever you throw. Mm -hmm. Then he peeks it up later in the corner. <laughs> <sighs> because how the hell would I know you'd bring a part-timer dog? Here, let me show you. Sit. <laughs> sir, yes, sir! <laughs> Roll. Sir, yes, sir! Paw. Sir, yes, sir! <laughs> Training, of course, we called it. <laughs> He's only shouting sir, yes, sir, and not doing anything else, though. <laughs> oh, my God. That's great. Fabulous. Absolutely perfect. <laughs> you did a perfect job. Huh? Is that a motorcycle? Oh, shit. Hey, not in my... Hey, not in my office. In the end, he's just a dog, I guess. Oh, oh. Who's this freaking... That's dude. you, buddy. Is this yeah. like uh, the guy from that uh, weird anime? Akira? Uh, yeah. I've never seen Akira. Y yes? Bathroom. Oh, sorry. It's only for clients. <clears throat> <laughs> the fucking face. <laughs> oh, um, promise me you'll buy something afterwards. It's that door over there. <sighs> Who the hell are you? The other one. <laughs> Sheesh. I said get out of my desk! <laughs> but the world's ending! <laughs> it's just a motorcycle. They're the four riders then! <laughs> There's the horsemen, and they already stopped. Thanks. Don't mention it. I need to buy something now, right? Oh no, you don't have to. Sorry if it looked like I meant to inconvenience you. No, I'll order something. I need a rest anyway. What can I get you? A piano woman would be nice. 
Sorry, I didn't hear you. Sorry, let me do that line again. Uh, man or woman would be nice. Ahem. <clears throat> I'll have a Mars Blast! Huh? Sure. It's okay, a piano. So give him piano woman. Absolutely. He can have whatever the hell he wants. Doesn't have to you look like some. You, when you go to a bar, you get what you want. Don't be pressured by people who say, you know, you shouldn't get, you know, such drink because it's girly or whatever. Yeah. Fuck that shit. Get what you want. You know what my favorite mixed drink is? That I. My favorite fruity mixed drink is. Huh. Fuzzy Navel. They're, they're pretty good. I've had a couple of those. P woman. Right. Here. <laughs> you look happy. Shut up. Is that motorcycle out there yours, Mister? Call me Mario. And yes, it is, it's mine. Sorry it's for the noise. Mario. Oh, don't worry. It's not like you stayed outside for too long or anything. So, what do you work as, Mario? A plumber? I live to paint the roads black with my wheels, leaving the trail of my engine sounds wherever I go. He is the I'm guy a, from Akira. I'm a rebel. Fuck the red lights. Fuck the speed limits. Fuck the helmet laws. The roads are mine and mine only. I am... Guys, I'm going outside with the dog. Blood press the bar. Hello, doggy. Hello, shady guy. Sh shady? I'll be back before long. Don't worry. All right. Careful. Who is she? Oh, she's my boss. Ah, sorry, I'm sliding down my chair here. Hold on a second. Ugh. Slide back up your chair. Uh, there we go. She was cute. Uh, not that you're not cute, and it's not like I'm into girls either. <laughs> not that there's anything wrong with that. I just... You, you all right there, buddy? <laughs> He's there trying to be a tough biker dude. And he's, and he's not like, not that I'm bike. into girls or anything. <laughs> so where do you work, Mario? I told you, I'm a rebel. I... Rebels can't maintain those bikes for too long. What's your day job? I'm a delivery boy. It's really appropriate, I guess. What do you deliver? I'm from a courier company, so it's kind of like mail, I guess. I'm always around the city, and I know what it's like. Er, blah, blah. I'm always around the city, and I know it like the palm of my hand. Sure, I might not remember every building, but I remember every intersection and every street. That's nice. I still can't take detours without feeling totally lost. Absolutely. Fuck Boston. Try guiding yourself with the help of landmarks. Around here, the Sabre Station's antenna is a good reference. Uh, I mean, what do I care? Fix that yourself, bitch. <laughs> you want anything else, Mario? I guess a moon blast would be nice. Moon blast? Yeah, uh, gut punch. Yeah, that one. Okay, it's kind of a moon blast. Sweet, Phaser. early, and happy. Powder Delta, Planet Guide, Tube Karma Train, Rocks and Blended. Dip, dip, dip. Uh, dip. Uh, dupe? Yeah, okay. Can you make that big? Yep. Okay. Rocks and Blended. No relation to the Hadron Cannon you can see on the moon for one week every month. Yeah, well, I mean... So this is the kind of guy that's so worried about what other people think about him that he's afraid to to actually what do wants. what he likes. Yeah. Which, I'm not going to lie to you, that was me for a long part of my life. Until I ultimately, actually when I first met Eleni, the, the woman I am now married to, happily. Um, when I first met her, I was worried about what she thought of me. When I figured out that she actually just liked me, I literally stopped caring what anybody else thought because I didn't have to prove myself anymore. I am who I am. Somebody loves me for that. Fuck the rest of y'all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good, uh... Good, what's it? Uh... Uh... What's the word I'm looking for? Uh... Uh, uh, uh... Self-image? good... Uh, yeah. Something like that. Uh, fun <laughs> fact. Mm -hmm. Before I came out, 
uh, as trans uh, in, in the, the the community here. Mm-hmm. Fen used to make fun of my love of girly drinks. Really? Uh, until I came out, and then he's like, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I think he felt kind of bad for it, too. So, the one thing that I really, I really want to stress to everybody out there who's watching this, and I'm not trying to tell you how to live your life, and I'm not trying to tell you what, what to think or what to do, but be you. Don't be what other people want you to be. And if other people don't like you for who you are, don't try to be something that you are not to make them happy because you won't be. Yes. It's ultimately, there's like a, there's like a hierarchy of needs or something like that. I don't remember what the actual term is for it, but it's basically a pyramid. And as you get higher up, your, your needs get more abstract. Like the base is like survival and then you build up from there. But there's a better way to do that and it's take care of yourself first then take care of the people you care about then take care of anything else that you have to do if you're yes. not taking care of yourself first if you are not comfortable with who you are then you are not doing it right and you will not be happy I'm sorry that that sounds really preachy but it, it's so goddamn true <laughs> yeah no, that pyramid you know it's survival it's like, you know, take care of yourself, get in nice clothes, etc. You get a nice job further up. And at the t tippy top of the pyramid, it's bathing in the blood of your enemies. Absolutely. You want to find a nice, nice place in there that you're happy. Maybe not go all the way to the top. But if you do go all the way to the top, <laughs> let me know that I'm not on your list of enemies, please. Yeah, leave, <laughs> leave a comment down below if you reach the tippy top of that pyramid. <laughs> but yes, pl uh back to slightly serious for a moment <laughs> i don't know what i was gonna say now damn it oh i like you guys out there for you you guys are awesome third i like you for you don't I... let anybody don't let anybody ever tell you that you are not the best you you can be because i like you for you i like you for you yeah that's probably a lie all right <laughs> <What>? thanks <laughs> this is good it's a moon blast uh, i no, never mind. Say, so Mario, why do you try so hard to keep up that tough guy image? It isn't working. Maybe when you arrived and had to go to the bathroom, but after that you just looked cute. Cute. So why do it? Bikers are supposed to be scary, right? Rebels that cause trouble and ride free from society's ties. If we applied that brand of logic here, I should be wearing one-third of my clothes and lighting drinks on fire. I guess. You can do whatever you want, dress however you want. It's just that you look like you're trying so hard. Like you don't really enjoy that. Yeah, see? Here it is. It's not a lie. Who says you can't dress as a biker and still be a nice kid? Yeah, but other bikers... It sounded like... That sounded like something someone in high school would say. Would say, yeah. Uh. It's just advice. Don't take it too personally. No, you're right. I don't have to be that way. Unless you want to. I ain't stopping you there. Yeah, but I don't. It's tiring and I don't feel good. If you want, you can try to stay quiet. You were pretty intimidating when you did that. I see. Will you have another drink or did you have too many already? I can handle another one. Get me a fringe weaver. Sure. <laughs> nice. I feel like this is the first character that I feel like we've actually kind of changed his outlook a little bit. Jesus Christ. Do not make that big. <laughs> Dude. That is Dude. a fuckload of alcohol. It's just booze. <laughs> Here. Yep, that's the one. Thanks. Say, that guy over there. Gil? What's up with him? Are you dating him? No. Is he seeing anyone? Oh. He was telling the truth. That not that I like girls or anything. <laughs> not as far as I know. Do you think he... He... No, never mind. I said nothing. Thank you for everything. Please come again. 
Hmm. I ship them. <laughs> ah, Gil, you heartbreaking fuckboy. Jesus! Eh, what? Nothing. I'll be taking my break now, Gil. Okay, careful. Oh, boy. <laughs> that was a fun morning. I say it's morning, it's just the first half of the shift, but it feels like a morning yeah. and an uh, afternoon kind of split, so... All right, next up on character select, more life lessons and happy-go-lucky fun times. Well, we'll with... try not to go off on rants again, unless we go off on another rant, in which case we lied. I'm willing to bet that we lied. Yeah, so we thank did. you very much for watching. Make sure to click that like button down below if you liked it. Subscribe, Patreon, bell, all of that wonderful stuff. And third, stop lying, you fuckboy. No, it's the only way I can sleep. Yeah, all right. Keep lying, man. I ain't gonna stop it. Good. Don't do that. <laughs>